right, I'm gonna go. But what was found is that there wasn't quite the ones that were meeting the needs of our small and rural libraries. So this is really designed for those accidental librarian leaders who may not have a degree or a formal leadership training, uh, but here they find themselves running a library or in a leadership position. And so we are almost towards the end of this uh, current cohort. It ends at the end of 2022. So please stay tuned for more information about further ways to get involved in this in the future. Uh, but it has gone really well so far and we're just super proud of it. So how do you join ARSL? What is the opportunity? Uh, one thing that we are really proud of as well is our membership is extremely affordable. Uh, I know that when I first started working in libraries back in 2016, I was looking at all these library uh, organizations and there was several that I could not afford or I knew my library couldn't afford so I was really grateful when ARSL was uh, brought to my attention. As you can see we just went on we just went under a membership restructuring and so there's some listed right here on the slide but then you can look on our website for more information but it's the return of investment is worth every penny everything that you get for joining arsl is just it's worth it and i know personally when i first joined and applied for a scholarship to attend um, my first conference in st george and then was able to get involved um, on the marketing committee and then eventually on the board it is not only elevated myself and my professional development, but also my library, my communities, because of the programming opportunities, the grant opportunities, and just that support that strengthens your library and your community. And so it is, uh, it's very worth it. And, and about 80% of, of US libraries are small, rural, or both. So mm -hmm. that, that number to me is just, uh, mind blowing because and we are we are small but mighty. <laughs> Absolutely, yes. It's something I think that a lot of people don't realize, and that's why we do this. And that's why we have ARSL. It's Absolutely. And that's why I was so excited to see that membership number jump because that means that more and more libraries are hearing about ARSL and finding that value in joining ARSL. And so uh, please tell your friends. And if you have any questions or, or any barriers that could prohibit you from joining, reach out. We want to do what we can to help connect uh, the resources we have to you and your library. Our next thing that we're really uh, excited about is our conference. So our annual conference this year is in Chattanooga, Tennessee, and it will be September 14th through the 17th. And our theme this year is connecting at the crossroads on track to real change. And I feel like this is very timely. There's a lot happening in the library world right now across the country, and especially in small and rural libraries. And so, uh, a lot of change is happening and change can be hard and uh, it's really great to just get rejuvenated and have that experience at conference. Uh, attendees have also rated this as one of the most affordable and uh, great investments as far as conferences go. Most mills are included in your registration and there are we now have a reduced cost virtual attendance option too, which gives all registrants access to on-demand programs following the conference through the end of the year. So again, if you're like me and you're like, man, I, I remember that session I went to and it was really good and I took my notes, you know, you could go back and have access to that. Um, so, it, and this picture too is from our 2021 conference. So I'm excited to see new pictures coming up in our 2022 conference. And we hope to see you all there either virtually or in person. And then our last slide is just a, a kind of a look at our ARSL Board of Directors. And I know what was mentioned last year as well is our implementation of our regional representatives. And we're really excited to have this in place uh, because what could be going on in one region could be a little bit different in the other region. And we believe it's very important for all voices to be heard and then come together and see how ARSL can meet those needs of all of our um, members across the United States. And so you have that little bit more personal touch because that's 
for what we believe small and rural library when I mean, you have that personal touch. So there's your uh, regional representatives for Northeast, South, Midwest, and West. And again, you can find their contact information on the ARSL website. So if you want to reach out, if you have a question or anything like that, and also you may reach out to the office. And that is all I have. And here's our con my contact information and the office email for um, info at ARSL.org. Thank you so much, Bailey. We are, as as I said, we are thrilled to have ARSL as our co-sponsor for um, the conference. Uh, just, of course, a natural thing. They've been with us throughout all the years of this. As I said, this is our 11th annual. Yay! Um, we keep going strong with it. And we're happy to have it. And I really appreciate. I know people do the um, virtual option for the conference. And I know the last two years with the pandemic, that's how that has come up for you and for many um, online um, conferences who have never done virtual before. As I've said, we've been doing this for a long time. Um, but continuing to offer that option, I think, is a big accessibility issue, too. They're just going to be the people that cannot physically make it, and it's always been that way. And I'm hoping that that remains as a permanent fixture as um, conferences, you know, hopefully conferences will go um, continue going hybrid that way. Absolutely. That, that's our plan, and we're happy to be able to offer that. Yeah. Awesome. All right. So thank you so much, Bailey. I hope you stick around and, and watch some of our sessions throughout the day. All right. Thank you.